I think we need to look at what is happening in terms of people coming across the Mediterranean. Many, many of these people are coming from countries like Nigeria, like Eritrea, uh, Somalia. They are paying criminals, paying criminal gangs and organized criminals to transport them across Africa. Criminals will then put them in boats that they know very often are unseaworthy um, so that these individuals' lives are being risked. Uh, and uh, we, of course, as the United Kingdom, have put HMS Bulwark in and two border force cutters and some seeking helicopters to support the search and rescue operation in the Mediterranean to make sure that people are not dying in the Mediterranean. But we need to deal with this trade in human beings, these callous criminals who are trading on people's aspirations and who are profiting from trying to move them across Africa and into Europe. And we need to deal with that in a variety of ways. Part of that, of course, is ensuring people can be returned to Africa. Part of it is working to interdict these criminal gangs. What I'm suggesting is that if we are going to deal with this terrible trade in human beings, then it needs to be clear that these organized cr criminals cannot profit from this trade. And that means that they're not able just to say to people, you will always get to Europe. And I think for those for whom, obviously, there will be people who are refugees. We accept asylum seekers in the UK, those who are genuine asylum seekers. We have a proud tradition of, of being somewhere that refugees can come and feel safe. But for those who are profiting from this, these criminal gangs, we need to deal with that. And that does mean people returning to Africa and not necessarily coming to Europe. Well, we have uh, accepted policies and procedures about people who want to claim asylum here in the United Kingdom. In relation to Syrian refugees, and of course there are Syrian refugees, they tend to go from across the eastern Mediterranean rather than coming across from Libya, but for those Syrian refugees we have accepted a number, we have a very particular program for those who are the most vulnerable, we work with the United Nations, with uh, UNHCR on that. But we have also put money into the region. £800 million has been put into the region by the United Kingdom to support refugees from Syria who are in other neighbouring countries like Lebanon and Jordan. Uh, and that is keeping people alive. It's, it's feeding them, it's providing them with water, shelter, medical supplies. And that's the most effective way of helping those people, many of whom want in due course to be able to return to Syria.